hey friends welcome to my channel today's topic is about myelogram radiology procedure myelography is an imaging examination that involves the introduction of a spinal needle into the spinal canal and the injection of contrast material in the space around the spinal cord and nerve roots the subarachnoid space The radiologist will also use a CT scan when doing a myelogram. A CT or CAT scan is an imaging test that uses X-rays in a computer to make detailed images of the body. A CT scan shows details images of the spinal canal. CT scans show more details than standard X-rays. Lumbar puncture, spinal tap, spinal cord vertebral needle, cerebral spinal fluid incision site. Indications 1. Herniated discs, discs that bulge and press on nerves and or the spinal cord. 2. Spinal cord or brain tumors. 3. Infection and or inflammation of tissues around the spinal cord and brain. Four, spinal stenosis, degeneration and swelling of the bones and tissues around the spinal cord that make the canal narrow. Five, ankylosing spondylitis, a disease that affects the spine, causing the bones to grow together. Six, bone spurs. Seven, arthritic discs. Eight. Cysts were nine capsules that may be filled with fluid or solid matter. Nine tearing away or injury of spinal nerve roots. Ten arachnoiditis inflammation of a delicate membrane that covers the brain. 1. Omnipack 2. Iopamero, water soluble non ionic contrast medium used. Omnipack contrast image. Lopamero contrast image. Contraindications 1. A small amount of CSF can leak from the needle incision site. This can cause headaches after the procedure. If there is a persistent leak, the headache can be severe. There is a slight risk of infection because the needle breaks the skin's surface, providing a possible entry point for bacteria. Three, short-term numbness of the legs or lower back pain may be experienced. Four, there is a risk of bleeding in the spinal canal. Anatomy image of lumbar side. Conus medullaris skin subcutaneous tissue spinous process interspinous ligament ligamentum flavum spinal needle dura mater subarachnoid space cord the recmina. Patient preparation you will be reminded to empty your bladder prior to the start of the procedure. Procedure 1. During the procedure, you will lie on your stomach on a padded table. 2. Your back will be cleaned with an antiseptic solution and draped with sterile towels.
free. The radiologist will numb the skin by injecting a local anesthetic numbing drug using a thin needle. This injection may sting for a few seconds but it makes the procedure less painful for. A needle will be inserted through the numbed skin and into the space where the spinal fluid is located. You will feel some pressure while the needle goes in but you must remain still. Anatomy parts are, spinal cord epidural space subarachnoid space anesthesia UK. 5. The radiologist will remove some of the spinal fluid from the spinal canal. Next, a small amount of contrast dye will be injected into the spinal canal through the needle. You may feel a warming sensation when the contrast dye is injected. Six. The X-ray table will be tilted in various directions to allow gravity to help move the contrast dye to different areas of your spinal cord. You will be held in place by a special brace or harness. More contrast dye may be given during this process through the secured lumbar puncture needle. Seven. The needle is then removed in the X-rays and or CT scan pictures are taken. Eight. You should tell the radiologist right away if you feel any numbness, tingling, headache, or lightheadedness during the procedure. This all images are myelogram procedure. After K1, observe rest for 24 hours except going for toilet 2, provide plenty of oral fluids 3, check pulse, BP, temperature 1 half hourly for 6. For more radiograph information subscribe my channel like share comment.